Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I hope everybody is safe, ha safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I also have a Virgo and Leo-only channel, okay? Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when I go live to do the winners. I do a monthly giveaway. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals, okay? So make sure that notification bell is on. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Um, I do not take personal readings. So any phone numbers that you see, it's not me. If anyone reaches out to you, it's not me. You can visit Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot. The link to book with her is below if you need a reading. Or if you have an iPhone, um, you can download Spiritualism Live. It is an app that does uh, readings by the minute. I do not own that app. It is a friend of mine um, that started it, okay? All right, Spirit, let's see what we have here for my beautiful Cancer babies. Oh, and guys, my Etsy store is also below. I opened up an Etsy store. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer in love. Tell me about Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, that wanted to come out. Okay. So we've got Pain, Anchor, Forbidden, Fired Up. We've got secrets and conflict. So Cancer, let me tell you what you got here. You have someone here that is completely heartbroken over whatever the situation is that you guys have going on. And what they're doing is they're they're so angry that they're revenge cheating, okay? Now, it could be cheating or it could be giving into temptations like drugs or drinking or things that they didn't normally do or that they stopped doing because they were with you. You see what I'm saying? Um, this person is talking bad about you to anyone that will listen. Would you believe that cancer did this, this, and that, and this, this, and this, and I'm going to show them because I'm up in these streets doing that that and this you know what I'm saying so cancer this person's angry this person is big mad okay they're mad and they're 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 hurt they're in pain I got my neck done cancer oh does it hurt man okay but anyways so it, it's they're they're hurting they're hurting and I'm sure you're I'm sure you're gonna say what are they hurting about they're the ones that messed up you're probably right I'm not arguing with you at all cancer no arguments here okay um but for whatever reason this person's tell me about pain please for cancer's person the nine of cups so you see cancer the reason why this person's upset is because for this person everything was going perfect because they were getting their way. They were able to have their cake and eat it too. And you must have put your foot down. You must have foot, you put your foot down. And now this person is having a titty attack. Tell me about Anchor and the Empress. See, this person wanted to hold on to you, Cancer. Because you're an Empress energy. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, you know, who doesn't, who wants to lose an Empress? Nobody. You know? You're mature, you get shit done, you handle your business. Some of you maybe make good money. Maybe you guys are good mothers, may, you know, good fathers, good parents. You got that mommy daddy vibe. You got that hubby wifey vibe happening here. You cater to this person's every need. And you also, with the eight of cups, walked away because you're sick of this person's crap. And they're mad at you for standing up for yourself. That's what's happening with this person. Tell me about Forbidden, please. And the Queen of Cups. So what they're doing, Cancer, is everything, everything that you didn't want this person to do. Like if you told them that, you know, you need to stop drinking or whatever rules they did abide by when you guys were together they're out there doing it just to just to piss you off with the tower and fired up here they're expecting to gaslight you 
Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, they're expecting to gaslight you. Here's the thing, Cancer, it's an illusion. So you may get gaslit. You may get upset with this person. But here's the thing, it's not real. Like this person is putting up an act or they're putting up a show to get you mad and get you angry because they're upset that you walked away from them because for them, life was good. Do you understand? They got to do whatever they wanted. They had you and you know, now you're here with all your stupid boundaries. That's the way they're looking at it. Do you understand? Oh, cancer, you know, decided to stand up for themselves today. Freaking annoying that I got to deal with this. You know what I'm saying? That's how this person's looking at it. Do you understand? Tell me about secrets here. And the hanged man. With the four of pentacles. Cancer, this person, this person is they want to keep it to themselves that you hurt them. They don't want to show you that by you walking away, it hurt as bad as it did. They don't want to show you that. They'd much rather, you know, they'd much rather cause drama and, and be, you know, completely immature. See, conflict and judgment. They're creating all this chaos and, and all this... They're, they're, they're acting out in this way because they want another chance. They want to come back home. They want to heal things. Do you understand what I'm saying? But instead of just sitting down like an adult and having a conversation, they're doing everything they can to get under your skin, to cause an argument, to get attention from you. Do you understand? It's like ridiculous. Four of swords and the five of cups and the six of cups. You have an ex here that's overwhelmed with guilt and all they want to do with that four swords energy is be cuddled up on the couch with you that's it that's all this person wants page of swords and the six of swords they want to be able to have a conversation with you and just get over it but you're not getting over it you're you're out the door the only thing you're over is this this person and this relationship do you understand you're walking away you've had i don't know what this person did but you've just about had it and they're mad because you won't just like let it go. Do you understand what I see? Rejection. They're mad because you won't just let it go. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about cancer. We've got the chase and the apology. Cancer, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this person is about to cause some serious upheaval here because they want to win you back. They want you to accept that apology and with upheaval here shock the unexpected and trouble you're going to be a little shocked about how this person is coming forward and doing this do you understand they're not doing it in the traditional way of just you know making a phone call and saying hey listen about what i said or what i did i just want you to know i'm sorry you know no they're not doing it that way we've got loyalty and we've got lust Cancer, this person needs to choose whether or not they're going to commit to this situation or not. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna choose. You know, they, they need to choose. You put their back against the wall. It's either me or you know what I'm saying. It's either me or 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 I'm out. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Sidetracked and time. And I feel like, Cancer, you gave this person a little, you know, you gave them a window of opportunity. And then after that, like, you just got busy with your own life is what I'm feeling. Oh, I got a piece of hair that's like tickling. Um, I feel like you just started moving on with your own life. I feel like you gave this a window of time. Aye, aye. You gave this a window of time and then you started moving on with your own life. And I feel like this person is seeing that, that you're just, you know, moving on, doing your own thing. Tell me about the chase here for Cancer and the Ten of Cups, the Five of Pentacles and the Apology. Cancer, this person really does not want to be left behind, okay? they This person does love you regardless of how they act, okay? Regardless of how they act. I, I think that people get too comfortable with cancer sometimes, thinking that they'll never leave, thinking that, you know, oh, cancer loves me unconditionally because of maybe how many times we forgive. I don't know. I don't know why they do that, but they do. You know, they do. They do that. Um, 
So cancer, you know, that's the thing with this person. They never thought that they, you were going to leave and they can't believe that you're really blocking them or leaving them out. We've got the eight of wands and we've got the ace of pentacles and the three of cups. So cancer, you know, here's the thing, you know, they want to come in, they want to talk, they want to tell you they're going to be loyal, but with the devil here and lust, you know that this person has, um, they got issues the, this person maybe has a wandering eye. They cheat. Uh, maybe they need attention from a lot of people. I don't know, but with devil and lust here, that is not good. That is, those are not two cards together. So, you know, Cancer, maybe this person wants to come in and talk to you about this problem that they're having. I, I don't know. Tell me about the devil and, and lust, please. With the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Do you see what I'm saying? Cancer, you're the Empress here, okay? And you're you're coming up single. You were with them. You were the Empress committed. Now you're single. So this person has to choose between an Empress or a Queen of Wands, okay? The problem is, Cancer, is that you're checking off all of this person's boxes as to who they want in a husband, a wife, the mother of their children, the father of their children. But there is something that they're attracted to. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying um, maybe you're tall and they like short people. Maybe, you, you know, you're short and they like tall people. Maybe you're brunette and they like blondes. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know, maybe this person's attracted to tattoos and you don't have any. Or, you know, I, I don't know. There's something here that you don't have that this person is attracted to. Okay. You know, maybe I, I don't know what to say. You know, so there's something here on a physical level or sexual level that this person's into that you're just not into. And you know this and, and you know this and that's why you're like, you know what, I'm just going to let this go because I'm getting tired. Tell me about side checked and the chariot, you see, and the wheel of fortune. Cancer, I feel like you gave this a period of time for this person to come back and do the right thing. And then eventually with the chariot and the wheel of fortune, you just started working on your own manifestations, moving forward, doing what's best for you. So I see blessings coming in for you, maybe with money, maybe with, you know, I don't know what you have going on, but whatever it is that you're trying to do, you're going to be successful at it. Okay. Tell me about time here. Tell me about time for cancer. The five of wands. Yeah, see, the problem here is cancer is that, you know, maybe this person thought that you would chase them or I don't know. You know, it's just after all of this time, this person's coming back with all this drama with this five of wands energy. I feel like they're getting upset because it looks like you don't care. Tell me about the five of wands. With the sun card in the reverse, you're not going to see this coming at all. You're about to get some communication from this person and you do not. This is going to blindside you because you thought this person just went off to whatever and you're not going to chase this and you're not going to pursue it, Cancer, because whatever this Queen of Wands has or whatever this Queen of Wands is into, you know, it's something that you're not going to, you know, you just don't have, you know, if, 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 the, if, if you're tall and this person like short people, what are you going to do? You can't, you can't change that. Or if, if, you know, if you're short and this person likes tall people, what are you going to do? You can't change that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's like, it, you know, whatever it is, cancer, you're just like, listen, I can never be this person. And I don't want to be this person because I'm a nine of pentacles. You know, I'm an empress. I don't want to be anything other than an empress. So you're not really in an energy of wanting to change your hair, your clothes, your lifestyle, just to jump through hoops and be who this person wants you to be. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, this is what you want and that's what you need to go after. So you kind of let it go and just started focusing on yourself and your life. And I feel like that's going to be very fruitful for you. Okay. Um, but there's something coming here. You're not going to see this coming at all. I mean, when I tell you, you're not going to the sun card in the reverse, you're not going to see this coming at all. Cancer, the seven of pentacles and the nine of wands. I feel like cancer, this is somebody that you try not to think about or, you know, someone that you have blocked or that you're not really, weren't really focused on investing in. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's something that you forgot about. 
not that you forgot about a whole person. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is this person isn't priority for you anymore when they come back in. You've got other things that you're prioritizing. So it's going to kind of take you by surprise. Okay, it will. It'll take you by surprise. Okay, let's take it into the extended. Let's see if this person, you know, what are what are their next actions going to be? What are they going to say for themselves? What is it that they're doing here? You know, what, what else do we need to know about this situation? Should you stay? Should you go? What will happen if you reconcile? What will happen if you leave? Um, you know, because I feel like you've got a lot of really amazing things coming towards you, Cancer. So for those of you that don't want this back, what's next for you in love, life, whatever the case may be, okay? All right, guys, I love you so much. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you and I will see you there. Take care, my darlings.